And one of the last things we need to look at for um, GitHub is uh, deleting repositories from your GitHub or archiving them or changing them. So if you click on settings, you can see uh, your repository name. You can rename it. This can have some pretty bizarre consequences. Uh, so do be aware of that. Uh, consequences like people that were looking for that. It isn't named what it used to be, so it's having some problems. Uh, figuring out how to use it. Um, you can allow or disallow people to do some certain things, that sort of thing, um, things like that. And then you have this danger zone. So you can make it uh, private. Uh, remember on um, GitHub, you may need to upgrade your plan so you can actually pay money to have private repositories. Um, GitLab does not make that same requirement, so just something to consider there. Transfer ownership, meaning give your repository to someone else so they can actually edit it themselves. All right, archive this repository um, means you don't want it to go away, but you don't want it to be changed anymore. You don't want people to be able to add issues or to track issues on it. So you can just archive that repository. Or finally, you can delete the repository. So here we have delete the repository. We're going to delete 101. Um, it makes you type in the name of it so you can delete it. You can just drag select, middle click, deleted. It's gone. There you go. Um, we'll jump back to our profile. Look at our repositories here for a minute. Uh, this kernel you garlic, we obviously don't need that anymore. We're going to delete that as well. Delete this repository. Copy and paste that in there. There we go. Those are gone. Um, two other quick things we'll look at, though, is uh, how do we handle issues? You know, so people might, uh, so for instance, you're building for a phone or something and the Wi Fi doesn't work, they might come and post an issue. Uh, they might make a new issue and say, hey, uh, the Wi Fi doesn't work at all. So they submit their new issue, and now you've got this issue that some user submitted. So you can assign yourself or someone else to work on it. You can give it a label like, oh, this is a bug, right? And uh, you can assign it to projects or milestones like this milestone. We This will be a milestone when we finish this. Um, add some comments, comment, blah, 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 comment. And then, uh, and then you can decide what you want to do. So <coughs> typically, if there's a bug or a problem, you would uh, want to work on it and uh, try to fix it and so you'd make some code like we'll just create a new file and we'll call this uh, Wi-Fi fix file and fixed Wi-Fi and we'll commit that new file so what's great is we have this um, commit that we made this change and you can actually just copy this and so if you go back to your issue and say hey this Wi-Fi didn't work but now I fixed it hey test it out I fixed it you know you can comment they try it out or whatever and you can say okay it's been tested so then it's fixed with commit and then you paste in that uh, commit number and you say close and comment. Notice here it says fix with commit and then they can click right on it and go straight to it. And it's really handy. Uh, and so then that issue has been resolved. So I did want to show you how to do that as well. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you was insights. And that is um, you can... How useful this is really depends on, on you. But uh, it it's definitely just gives you some insight to see how many people have been committing, how many issues have there been, how many issues have been closed, uh, pull requests and proposed and merged and issues and closed issues and who's been working on it and that sort of thing, which can be nice. Uh, you can see, you know, the contributors, who's been contributing, and it's all me in this case. <coughs> uh, traffic, you know, who's been looking at it 
uh, commits, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just looking at the different commit history, code frequency, a lot of things here. So this can be useful, but only if it's useful to you. You know, it, it kind of depends on you as a person. But I just wanted to show you those um, as well. So I'm just going to be deleting these repositories because they were just for this uh, video series. We won't need them uh, anymore. And uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get rid of those.